Right, let's jump into menu 5 to get our graph function. Input our function and press execute and then we can press draw to get our graph drawn. What we can see is there is a gap here and it's the gap at like y equals minus 1 and that is our horizontal asymptote. Now we've got a vertical asymptote, x equals 1 where there's a gap between the two lines. We can confirm that by using the trace function. So trace along there and you can see it getting towards minus 1. And then you can go to the other end. Going to the other end we can see it agrees and gets us the asymptote as y equals minus 1. We can also use the trace function to see the asymptote at x equals 1 and we get an error at x equals 1 here. Um, so we have an asymptote there. Now we're going to use the box function just to zoom in on this just to show it a bit more clearly. And we can see if you factor in we can see that if you do the trace we get the asymptote where it jumps at x equals 1. And you can see the dotted lines telling you where the point is even when it grows off the graph. And you can see how it flips from here being positive and go across and it flips down to the negative as we go past x equals 1 and that tells us we have a vertical asymptote there. And now we can draw the graph in with all our relevant features. Asymptote x equals 1, asymptote y equals minus 1 and then put the curve in and what we're going to find out is where these both intersect. Using the graph solve function use the roots to find where it crosses the x-axis at 2 and use the graph solve to find the y-intercept, which is also at 2. And we're going to put those on our graph.